Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we will be comparing Stanstore to System.io. We will be taking a look at the pricing and features of both of these platforms, as well as which of these tools is going to be better for you. Now, the first thing that we are going to talk about when it comes to System.io and Stanstore is going to be the pricing plans and also the free trials and free accounts that you can get. I will leave a link for both System.io and Stanstore in the description, as I am an affiliate for both of these platforms and there is a big difference with these because with Stanstore you can essentially get a 14 day free trial like if I just go ahead and paste my link into here you can see that if I scroll down we can get a 14 day free trial however with system.io you can get a free forever plan which is as it says free forever the only downside is that it is limited so with the free plan, you can have up to 2000 contacts. So you can have up to 2000 emails and you can only create one course and one community. Whereas with Stanstore, we get a 14 day free trial, but you get access to the creator plan for this. So you can basically create unlimited courses. You can collect unlimited emails, but only for 14 days. So what I would say is if you have a really small business, like under 2000 contacts, then this free plan is going to be a lot better for you. But looking at the rest of the information and what we actually get with these plans, with Stanstore, this is a lot more limited. With the Creator plan, you basically have to upgrade to Creator Pro to get all of the benefits out of this. The big thing, the big, big thing is going to be with Creator, you don't get access to email marketing, which means you have to buy an additional email marketing tool and then connect this up with Zapier. So it's going to have a steeper learning curve, like it's confusing to set Zapier up and get this integrated, and it's going to be more expensive. Whereas with system.io, you can create your course, you can create your community. And for people who entered their email, but didn't buy straight away, you can follow up with email marketing. And this is all included. Like you can send unlimited emails through system.io, even on this free plan. Now, there are a few other limiting factors here. For example, we've already been over unlimited funnels. You can't access this until Creator Pro. You can't offer discount codes or upsell offers, which you can on system.io. You can't offer payment plans. So when people buy your course or whatever they are buying, if you want to split this up into payment plans, which can increase profitability by a lot, you once again can't do this until you upgrade to this $99 plan. Whereas on system.io, you can do this with all of these plans, even on the free plan. The next thing is affiliate payments. So if you create a course and you want to set up affiliates for your course, so you can get other people to promote your course and then earn a percentage. You can't do this inside of the standard creator plan, but once again, on system.io, you can set up an affiliate payment structure. On top of this, another thing that I really like about system.io is they kind of have a gradual rank up. So you can basically start your business. You can sell your course for completely free. You can collect 2000 contacts. You can make money on the free plan. And then you can upgrade to startup, which is only $27 per month. From here, you can then continue to sell your course. You can get up to 5,000 contacts. You can make more money. And then you can upgrade to webinar. And then you can upgrade to limited as you need to. Whereas on Stanstore, it's very different because in those first two weeks, you might not even make a sale. And then you have to pay $29 per month. Plus you don't get any of these additional add-ons down here. And if you do want these, then you have to upgrade straight to Creator Pro, which is $99 per month. So in terms of the pricing and the free plans and everything that you get, system.io is the clear winner here. Next, let's actually go into both of these platforms. I will sign into my account and we will compare the features that you get with both of these. The first thing that I will say is, let's say you are selling a course in this example, we will go with a course. The way that you get people from social media or wherever you are driving traffic from to your course to actually buy it is very different with both of these tools. So with Stanstore, if I open this up, People would essentially click out of social media, wherever you are promoting, and they would land on a page that looks like this. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can add different like podcast links and you could add your YouTube channel. And then right here, you could add a link to your course. Whereas with system.io, you would be linking people straight to a landing page. So something that looks like this or this, where you explain the offer, they can enter their email and they can go through to that next step. So, Interestingly enough, they both have pros and cons because clicking out of social media straight to something like this is a lot more aesthetic, like it looks more professional. 
However, we do need a landing page for the product. And on Stamp Store, these are not the best. Like if I go to eCourse right here, this is the kind of landing page that we are going to create. We can add a little bit of information, we can add a single image, but it's just not very impressive. Whereas with system.io, we don't get access to like this beautiful page right here, but the landing page itself is going to be a lot better. It's going to look something like this. So once again, that just comes down to personal preference, whether you prefer to have like a beautiful page right here when somebody clicks out of social media, or whether you would rather have a nice landing page that is more likely to sell your product. In terms of creating the course, honestly, these are both pretty similar in how we do this. The layout is different, but essentially the way that things come together is the same. So right here, we would just pick a style for how we want this to show up on Stamp Store. We can then choose an image, add the text, and then go next. Then we set up the landing page. But then when we go through to actually create the course, we can set up the course homepage right here. We can add modules, and then we can add lessons into those modules. On system.io, we just come here to courses, create a new course. Let's just call this test. We can then choose how this is going to look inside of the course area. Let's select this theme, let's test. And then we can click in, add modules and set up the modules right here. And then within the modules, we can set up lectures. So not much of a difference between these in how you actually set up the course. So when it comes to Stamp Store versus System.io, I would personally go with System.io. The reason for this is the awesome free account that they let you get access to, as well as the additional features that you can get on all of the System.io plans that you cannot get on Stamp Store unless you upgrade to this $99 plan. So that is my comparison of Stamp Store versus System.io. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.